so we'll be appending the branches from that so come in the file menu and then select append and then you can open the file so we have got the branches and from that you select group then branches then select append so now as you can see we've got the ready-made branches over here we are going to be using these branches so, so click on this empty which which you have here small empty then you can move it now if you haven't changed the resolution of the camera it will be properly up to scale so if you just move it you can see it's properly just just coming till the place where I want so yeah so it's just near the camera it should be just near the camera so that's good now the next thing is that we want to set up the depth of field for our camera so the camera by right clicking on it go to the camera settings click on limits okay check this checkbox so now you get a big line and then if you come down and if you increase the distance you get this cross which you can set up on the focus so come in the right view and uh, just increase the distance till it reaches the middle okay till the z-axis of the uh, over here just about there okay so if you be very neat about that anyway now change the aperture to be f stop and you can change the number to be about 20 i use 20 i think for my final render so when, so when once when you have done that you come back to the camera view and you give it one render i haven't even saved my project <laughs> i'm gonna crash it i don't know what will happen anyway so now as you can see i'm getting much nicer effect a bit of depth of field but you can decrease this to get more blurriness itself um something like two so these are just gone i think now anyway we'll be using 20 and we'll uh, using the compositor we're gonna defocus these a bit more so anyway for now it's fine let me save my project so file save let me select some location anyway, so we have saved it now next thing what you're gonna be doing is we're gonna be rendering it so come in the view menu camera let's set up the render options so come down and in the sampling you can uh, specify the number of samples now you shouldn't use much samples because this scene works with less samples also so we can use about 50 also in any case for my final scene i don't know how much i use about 100 200 i don't know anyway so whatever it is you can you now set up the samples set the resolution if you want to but i am going to use this one itself and you can click on this render button so rendering is going on going on i hope it goes on so now we have a uh, scene rendered and it's looking pretty good the swamp is looking like swamp itself i hope so anyway so now let's go to the compositor so change this to be the node editor and then come here and click on use notes so now you get the whole node setup so i'm just gonna place them a bit away just a bit and i'm also gonna connect a viewer node just place it here and then also check backdrop so now we have the scene anyway so now we can add the nodes and we can start compositing so first node which you're gonna add is the defocus node to defocus all these things which you have got which, which, which you don't want so press shift a and then um, from color i think mm, from vector i don't know uh, distort whoa distort yeah no not that uh, defocus huh no Uh, let me just search it off over here. The focus. So we have our defocus node. So once a new search and you find it, you don't have to search it again. So anyway, I'm just gonna place it over here, and I'm gonna move it over here. And I'm just gonna connect the viewer node also. Now we can change a few settings over here. So I'm just gonna start by decreasing the max blur. Okay. Wait. Start by change this to be UZ buffer. So now as you can see, it's um defocusing most of the things and uh, now we are going to be decreasing the f-stop value so i don't know how much that i use for my final scene I don't know. let's start by putting it to 10 um about 50 i think i use for my final scene or i don't know seriously oh no thousand or no 100 oh yeah we should connect the z also 
okay so now it's looking pretty good so now if we just decrease the s stop also of the preview now if we decrease the f stop to about 50 or something or uh, a bit more or less about 20 yeah so as you can see these areas are a bit in focus while the branches are getting more lighter so that's it's pretty cool you can decrease the max blur to be about five or something spare requirements um i don't know what happened with that well let me change it to be about 20. um that's just okay we'll be using 15 itself anyway so it's looking pretty good to me the threshold Whoa, that's a lot. Anyway, so it's it's just up to you, but we have got a bit of depth of view as looking pretty good itself. Now let's start by adding in the uh, the color balance node to balance the color. So I'll press Shift A and from color select color balance. Well, at least I know this one. So anyway, so I'm just gonna place it here, place it here, and connect the view and node. And now let me just set up a few color wheel options here just change these off so we'll be changing the lift what don't tell me blend is crashing now yeah okay it's just okay. so we'll be changing the lift what is blender gonna crash whoa 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 okay yeah. so we'll be changing the lift to be a bit slight green okay very slight it's a lot very slight pretty light um let me use this about 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 here that's good and i'll uh, change this one to be the opposite one it's blue i think it's a lot it's still a lot yeah this is good anyway so it's just looking pretty good to me a bit more lighter the sky up a bit a nice bright day um, let's see up. so this much is cool Anyway, so now next thing which you're gonna do is create a vignette. So press shift. So for the vignette, um, as you'd know that I had created a vignette node, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna create the vignette itself with a long method. So to create the vignette, shift A and color. Um, no, from the uh, distort lens distortion node, place it over here. Then math node, convert to math. And then connect this to be this one, change the store to be one, change this value to be greater than, connect this to be this, and then add one blur node also. Filter blur. Connect this value over here. I'm just gonna move them a bit away. Okay. Space space, okay. Now let's add in a mix RGB node, mix, okay, only mix node, and change this to be multiply, connect this, uh, this one to be the bottom input, and, and yeah, oh yeah, let me change this to fast Gaussian, check relative, I'm gonna use X, and change this to be about, I don't know, I think about I used 20%, let's try 20, and also I'm just gonna cut the view and update this. Oh, what happened? Oh, change this value here to be zero also. Yeah. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good to me. I think I use about 30 percent. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. And the next thing is the uh, increasing the brightness. So what I'm gonna add the RGB curves node here. That and then just increase this a bit bit very very less and and yeah now it's looking pretty good to me so once you have that you can now come in the uv image editor and select view one node and now you can save this image by pressing f3 and i'm saving it. so um, so that's it and you can download all the files from my site so that's it and i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and then yeah